All right, I'm just going to the night. All right, I'm feeling really good. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry, sometimes I talk a little soft. Listen, I'm not afraid. I don't have anxiety. I'm actually one of the most blunt people you ever meet. I don't regret anything that happened in my life because it would be who I am, and that's all I am and all I can be. Right? Let's listen to myself and have a all you can be. Come on, come on. Now, uh, for me, as a quiet as well, you just clap it up, and I know that. So, I know, I know. You all know that. You know, I want to talk about trauma, guys. Specifically, my trauma as a, as a kid, which doesn't affect me to this day. Well, in, in a certain way. You know, in any negative way, it doesn't affect me. But we all have trauma, right? I know that's right. All right, a lot of us don't want to talk about sexual trauma, right? Read it hand. Everyone, everyone, 100%, everyone. No one wants to talk about it. You sound like a right? Because everyone's uncomfortable. Yeah. Me too, hashtag. I was eating vagina since I was four. Oh, my. You see that? Some people like, oh, my, I'm bad. Somebody like, oh, my. Listen, man, let me tell you something. One thing that helped me not condemn myself or others is to see that. Sexual acts are made to feel good, correct? No matter what happened to you, whatever the function is, continue with that function and accept that function. You have to forget yourself sometimes. See what I got? Yeah, if some of you guys feel less, then let's be real. I don't, I feel amazing. I'd rather be somebody that's unwavering, unwavering in myself. I take everything that happens to me to me that as just a, another rep in the gym. I get stronger. I get to help people out. Because no one talks to you like this. You have to find on a, on a reel or something, a TikTok or something like that. It's just a little it's short. But, don't get me wrong, I, I, I love sex guys. Listen, I love sex. I enjoy doing what I was doing when I was a kid. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You felt that, right? You felt uncomfortable, right? I said it though, right? We have to speak more, we have to say more things, guys. Find out who you truly are. Now I'm more respectful when we knowing that they're just not body parts. It's not something that's like that to control you, the vision of the eyes of we just want to fake. You know? It's about building into the unknown with somebody that you barely know. No matter how you feel about them, feelings are the byproduct of what you do. So we have to do more than anything in order to get the feeling. Sometimes we like to quit. You know, some people don't even like to do things during sex because they've been traumatized in that fashion because they never really went and and solved that problem or just even faced it I know, to, right. to even see if they really feel that way. They doubt themselves. A lot of women too. I'm speaking for the women right here because I've had a lot of issues meeting women that I can see are great because I can see into the future. I can see potential. And I can see if I'm supposed to align with and I'm um, being aligned with or not. But they don't see it. And it sounds arrogant when I say this is who you are in your grave. The guys believe me, because I'm we were we're we go getters. We're hunters. We're gatherers. When I say something, it's confirming in them. And they're gonna do better. I do the same for myself. I don't doubt myself. I forgive myself for adding to forgiveness for something that I shouldn't have because I was afraid. But we have to stop being afraid. Am I right? Love you guys.